one thing I want to convey everywhere I go is I'm a person. Drup and I, we are people, not just priests. When I think about that, I chuckle often. As I travel abroad and many times I go to Europe, people want to call me a priest. You know, they want to look to me out of respect. And, and I understand that. Their heart's right. But the hard fact is this. We're all part of the family of God. There is no respecter of persons in his family. He loves all of us just the same. We just have different assignments. So we begin to understand first we're people. And if I'm not a good person, I'll never make a good minister. I'll never be a good pastor. So I've got to be a good person first. One that has compassion. One that can be touched with the needs of the people around them. Um, if I'm going to contribute to the community, what I give to the community must be of value. It must be wholesome. It must be noble. So a good reputation is, is a great thing, but more than even a good reputation is a good name. So I'm first a person, and then I'm a believer. And as I've become a good believer in Christ and His teachings, that makes me a capable minister, or some would say priest, or in the Western culture we say pastor. As we help develop people, as we help them find what makes them unique and, and discover their passion and their purpose, we then unveil their potential. See, everyone has potential. And it's in this interaction with a mentor, with your local pastor, that potential can be realized. Drup and I's greatest passion is to find common, everyday people like you and I and help them reach uncommon results. We can do that by helping them realize there's potential there that must be schooled, it must be trained, developed, and then it must be mentored. Once that's complete, then we must launch them. Whatever their heartbeat, whatever their passion, their greatest desire, we're here to back them up, help them up, and see them fulfill it.